Hello guys, my name is Nana again and you will be watching my video. Today is Tatalakayan. Tatalakayan. Our video for today is showing you guys how to register or activate your Shopee Pay. It's a refund system in Shopee. So, wala pa nakapag activate ng Shopee Pay nila. I will be showing it to you guys. Let's start. So, naka open na yung Shopee ko here. And, iyon ko tong screen recording so that you can all see. Okay, so. Let's go to me and makikita nyo dyan yung ano nyo, yung token and just go to Shopee Pay. Ito, for security. Ah. Um, to ensure that your Shopee Pay is secure, we require your particulars in setting up your Shopee Pay. Let's set up the Shopee Pay. First is personal particular. So, first name, middle name, last name. So, um, if you click the yung box, sa kalang ikaw makakanak. So, you have to agree to terms and conditions. It's really up to you. Um, you can read it and you actually don't have to read it. So let's go to the next. So um, after the next is Maririal Kadita sa Create Shopee Pay Pin. So my verification code sila na is to send sa uh, phone number na ilagay mo dito. So let's go to this. Um, if naka iPhone ka, automatically magbabasa niya yung mga message na pumuput, um, sisend sa inyo. So, nabasa niya yung sa akin. So, dito na yung code and after nung code just continue. Um, So, na nalagay natin yung code. And, right now, um, mag-assign ka ng parang pin para, para sa Shopee Pay mo. I like to do. So, done. Nakalagay na tayo ng password. Re-enter lang para ma-confirm. Let's click confirm. Tapos na. That's it, guys. So, um, any refund dito yan malala, guys. Sa Shopee Pay, hindi yan mapapadala sa inyo ulit. At hindi na siya sa coins. It will be on the Shopee Pay. And, meron siyang, ano, dalawang options dito. May top-up, tsaka withdrawal, and transactions. So, transactions is yung uh, history ng mga transactions mo. And top up, um, ito yung gagawin mo para parang load Shopee. So, um, like for example, you wanted to top up like 100, 300, 500. So, you want to top up 500. Ibig sabihin, you have 500 to spend on your shopping in Shopee. So, ayan. Um, just payment select method and it's either remittance lang or over the counter. So, remittance is by center SM bills payment 7-11 click easy pay LVC bills payment driving sa department store. Ang alam ko lang dito is ang bayad, cent ang bayad center ano sila, um, kung sa kanila ka magtatap up, is 
my additional 3 pesos sa dago yan. SM bills payment, eh, hindi pa ako nakatry, pero I know na parang libre lang. Wala silang um, service fee or any fee on top of the top up. And sa annual year, may charge na 20 pesos. If you're going to top, top up 500 pesos, you're going to pay 520 kung gagamitin mo yung M dual year. 7-Eleven click is zero. So, wala kang babayaran. 500, um, ano nga babayaran? So, kung 500 yung itatop up mo, 500 lang din ang ibababayad mo sa cashier sa 7-Eleven. Easy pay, I believe, like, I think 2 pesos. LBC bills, hindi ko pa natatry. And let's go to the over the counter. Uh, my BDO East West Metal Bank. BDO will have like 25 pesos service fee on top sa itatapap mo. So 500 lang. Itatapap mo, 525 yung babayaran mo. Actually. And Metro Bank OTC, 50 pesos on top of the Shopee payment. So, ang marireceive mo sa Shopee is 500 lang. Pero ipabayad mo kung sa Metro Bank ka is 550. Mm. <laughs> My PNB, RCBC, RCBC bills payment is no additional charge. PNB, I don't know, um, RCBC PC Savings Bank my additional 25 pesos. My ano kasi my over the counter bills payment ng RCBC emergency lang Savings Bank OTC. Merong RCBC Bank, merong RCBC Savings Bank. So, kaya na bahala mag mm. My Union Bank, Security Bank, AUB Online, Land Bank is 50 pesos additional charge. Security Bank is 50 pesos then and UCPB is 25 pesos and Robinson's Bank I think it's like I, I don't know Sir Robinson's but I hope na hindi sila na to charge so dito okay on the withdrawal side you can click it here and you need to verify your ID. So, click me on verify and makikita mo after clicking is this one. Um, last name, place of birth. Fill up mo yan yung wala pa na fill up. So, deposity, date of birth. Um, Thank you. 
correct? So, sa ID na, pwede nyo ilagay for the Shopee payment is um, passport, driver's license, national or NBI, clearance, alien certification, UMID ID, yung nasa SSS, meron din SSS card, um, BRC, PhilHealth, and so on and so forth. So, ito yung mga pwede picture an ID when um, when you're going to register to Shopee Pay. So, I don't know which one here. Hold it. I'll go with the input number. So, I'll go with the ID. Ko. So, wait. Lang. Ha, okay, live update. <laughs> na picture ko na yung ID ko here. So, just click the check and magsi selfie ka with the ID really uh, okay so um, i think i'm going to nakalabas pa pala oh here <laughs> okay, and to politically exposed person. Um, no, I'm not. So just click the box lang to continue. Uh, by clicking the box, nagagrika na sa mga kanan. And ano pa lang kulang? ID number is zero one 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 nine two nine nine two one four. Okay, if the red button is up, you're good to go. Hopefully, let's just confirm it. By clicking confirm, it will take um, two to three working days para ma verify nila na legit yung ID na sinan nyo. And sa kapag pwedeng magamit yung Shopee Pay. And for the withdrawal, I believe we're going to input a bank account or any ATM bank that. Um, kung saan pwede nyo mag in cash yung refund that's the only way you can get the cash back so activate your Shopee Pay activate the withdrawal um, function para mabalik sa nyo yung cash na binayad nyo sa seller okay yung refund and I think that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you um I hope that um but thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarifications, don't hesitate to comment down below. Salahat ng mga suggestions on what videos I should come up with the next time. You can also comment that below. Thank you and God bless everyone. <laughs>